So there are five pathways, production pathways, that start at a, with a certain type of biomaterial, go through a certain pr production process to arrive at an approved jet fuel. There are five pathways currently approved. We expect in the next couple of months there will be another two, and beyond that there are literally dozens um, that are that are in the, the pipeline, metaphorically speaking, to be approved for aviation's uh, use. It depends on what technology you're talking about in terms of cost performance. Um, earlier stage technologies, like every other type of technology out there, uh, is more expensive typically. More advanced technologies that are closer to commercial viability, those are more cost effective. So there are some options that are uh, available for aviation uh, that are cost effective with petroleum uh, fossil kerosene to the end user depending on where you buy them in the world. I and mean, then there are some earlier stage technologies. The great thing from our perspective, a manufacturer's perspective, is that the fossil cost curve for product producing fossil fuels is not getting generally cheaper. It's getting more expensive over time because of the nature of the type of crude that's emerging on the marketplace. Um, that's not a curve that Boeing can do much about. Where you know the, the fossil fuel is what it is. Um, on the bio kerosene side, because of the emerging nature of biotechnology and the, the growing bioeconomy around um, this, those costs are going down because of the emerging nature of them. And as, a, as an aviation stakeholder, like Hanan Airlines, Sinopec, in this case, they have the fuel producer Boeing, we've developed a way to collaborate together in very innovative partnership structures that cause the cost curve to go down on the biokerosene side of the equation because of the, the, the emerging nature of that technology. That is the, That type of collaboration is something that's new in aviation and something for us that's very exciting. So the, the collaboration today here with uh, Hainan Airlines and Sinopec, Sinopec is already producing biokerosenes. Um, they're China's state oil company. They're one of the largest oil companies in the world. And the fact that they've decided to get very active in the bioeconomy, that's the critical mass that's necessary to drive these sorts of new fuels. Um, because these types of chemistry and biological innovations that are necessary come from that kind of investment, that magnitude of investment. And so that's, that's an example of, of the future. So sustainability is, is the guiding light for all of this. Uh, for these fuels to have the kind of outcomes that are desired by the industry, which is carbon neutral growth and technical superiority, um, so they need to be guided by sustainability principles. In other words, uh, improving on social issues, improving economic issues, you, you need to have economic sustainability to have environmental sustainability. You have to have environmental sustainability to have economic sustainability. For the first time in the past generation of aviation, we, as in aviation, are able to really take control of our fuel supply and make it the way we want to make it. And, and, and this today, this event with Ion Airlines and Sinopec as partners is a perfect example of that. We're formulating our energy in the way that we want it to be in the future to supply our industry with better ways to fly. So biofuels are used all over the world every day already. Uh, there are airports and airlines around the world that are using them every day. Um, in, in China, Sinopec is producing biofuels every day. Um, we are working, Boeing is working with the industry to approve a new type of biofuel kerosene uh, specification that will enable biofuels that Sinopec is already making today to enter into the aviation market on a regular basis in China. And when that milestone is achieved, which we hope will be achieved in the next several months, there will be a ready daily source for biofuels um, for carriers like Hainan in China, sourced from fuel made in China.